Shut up and sit down. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the KF Podcast. This is a little uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness mm-hmm. spoiler review. Yes. I want to say thank you for listening. If you found us on the airwebs, check us out. Uh, Google at the KF Podcast will show up your uh, podcast catcher, social media, YouTube, whatnot. Um, not on whatnot, but, you know, other things. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to replace Ken Sell's stuff. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. I got a lot of shit to sell. <laughs> okay. If you, live in the, if you live in the western Pennsylvania area, I'm having yard sales. I actually okay. started putting stuff on eBay. Hero clicks. You done? You back on schedule? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Doctor Strange and the Multiverse. Um, we're not. We're going right into spoilers. So Justin. Do- Justin. Spoilers. His face is so loud. We're going right into it. We're gonna go around and uh, just give everybody a chance to talk about it at first before we get heavy in the stuff. We're gonna start with Ken this time. If you wanted to see Sam Raimi <laughs> masturbate all over a Doctor Strange story arc, this is it, and I loved it. <laughs> That's 100% true. Every, every possible Sam Raimi trope was in this movie. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I, 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 I thought it was great. That's just, you thought it was great? I liked it. Mm. Interesting. I, I also am not naive to think that I might be the only one at the same time that really <laughs> liked this movie. Lance? I'll echo Ken. I liked it. It was so much better than the last Marvel movie. What was the last Marvel movie? Morbius. Oh, that doesn't oh, I thought count. You meant Spider-Man. Oh. Morbius doesn't count as a Marvel movie. Mm. It's a Sony movie. Well, see, it wasn't a fair fight, but it's still much better. Brock, I enjoyed it. Um, wasn't my favorite, but there a lot of it I liked. Um, some some of the Sam Raimi stuff was too much for me because it was very predictable. Like I kept leaning over to Justin. This is what's going to happen here because it's a Sam Raimi movie. Yeah, and I heard you just go. This is, this is where the jump <laughs> like scare. <laughs> jump scares and yeah. Evil Dead. Evil Dead. They even the Evil Dead made an appearance in the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I enjoyed it. I'd like to see it again because I feel like I missed a lot. There's a lot going on. This yeah, movie. especially when they're hopping through dimensions and stuff. Yeah. I feel like there's shit in the background. Yeah. But I, I enjoyed it. I'd like to see it again. I liked Justin? it that much. Yeah, I liked it as well. Uh, definitely agree with Brock. Want to see it again because I think I missed some stuff. Um, but I don't have a huge Sam Raimi background, so I didn't. I didn't catch the tropes and <laughs> stuff like that. But I, I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it. Awesome. Here's what I'd like you to do: watch Army of Darkness now. And then you're okay. like, oh shit, this is where the entire movie came from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. So I'm so it's reversed then because I hated this movie and I'm not surprised because he was on his phone the whole time again. That is awesome. I, I, I saw his ball head ones. illuminated. I was only on a couple times. <laughs> Several times. Text. It's right but, behind you. But anyway, um, so I will just say what I liked about it first. I liked the, the Illum- now I like the Illuminati part. Mm-hmm. Okay, but. I was really annoyed that there was no Iron Man representation in the Illuminati. I don't they understand done why they could have easily... Now, if you can't get Robert Downey Jr. and you can't get Tom Cruise or whatever that stupid shit they said we were going to do, you could at least use Rhodey. Yeah, and had Rhodey Rhodey. Well, Introduce her before you Someone know. been in an Iron Man... Ar- yeah. Iron Man Pepper. needs to be in the Illuminati. And he they, is the Illuminati. And they could have easily like had a suit and she destroys the suit and then there's nothing in there. And there's nothing in there. Yeah. It was a robot voice yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, you could have had Rhodey in the superior Iron Man outfit and been like, yeah. he took over. Or, or, or Victor Von Doom. Yeah, or someone. Mm-hmm. So I thought they missed a the boat on that. I thought that it was bad that there was no representation from Wakanda. You could have had yeah. Shiri. You could have had Michael B. Jordan. You could have had... Anybody, yeah, and so I was I was annoyed with that. But Professor X was cool. It was cool to see Reed Richards, obviously John Krasinski. I thought he played did, him. I thought I he did thought a good that was job. Yes. That was good. Yeah. I hope that they give him the role in our. I, I kind of think that that was his his trial his, run. He was a good. Yeah, Mr. I think that Fantastic. was his one and only. Justin and I were talking about. I'd that be afterwards. I'd be cool if they picked him as as Reed going yeah. forward. But I guess what I didn't like about it was I I it was different than what I thought. Now, a lot of people were hoping you were going to see so many cameos, like yeah. X-Men cameo. I was okay. Bu- built themselves up for I was that. okay they didn't yeah. show that. It was mm-hmm. fine. Me too. I mean, it, it's fine. The thing I didn't like about it was Wanda being the villain. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. This movie was completely different than what I thought it was going to be. The trailers made it look like the Wanda that she possessed was the villain. Yes. Right. And he totally 
I mean, they totally so ruined evil. Wanda. Yeah. She's done. There's... I mean, yeah, you know, like, and well, then she kind of. I know she's kind of possessed by the Dark Hold or whatever. But the Scarlet. She's possessed by the Scarlet Witch. By the Scarlet Witch and yeah. all that. My thing with it was like, okay, Wanda needed America Chavez to gain her power to go to a universe where her kids were and take those kids. Instead no. of all this shit that she went through. I think she could have easily just approached America Chavez in one of her one or other bodies and yeah. been like, "Hey, I'll help you find your mom and your moms if you help me get to my kids." All right, I'll help you learn your powers. I need to. I want to go to another universe. I don't want to like open doorways. And she just wanted to go to another universe. No, no. She actually, she actually, because because Doctor Strange asked her why. Why didn't you just ask her? Why do you need her power? And he said. There was a whole scene where she said, yeah, she's "I corrupt. need the power in case they get sick in our world to go to another to go to planet. another world." So but she's like, like, "The only way I can fully protect them and have them is the ability to go through all the multi." She could have done it in such a different way than like, "I'm going to send Shumagorath after you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to send a demon after you." Like, if you could clearly jump to your other bodies, you could have easily approached America Chavez <laughs> in a way that would have been like. Less threat. You could have tried, like Brock said. You could have went and been like, "Hi, I'm here to help you," and mm -hmm. then like killed her and took her powers. Like instead, I it's like <laughs> I'm going to send all these monsters after you to have ridiculous fight scenes that weren't even needed. Yeah, but at, she, at was, all. she was absorbed. Like she was, I think she was power hungry too, without realizing. Because I think the Scarlet Witch is what wanted the power to, to hop over, not so much the yeah. Wanda. It just wasn't what I thought. Because if you look at the scene where Professor X is talking to Wanda underneath the rubble at the at her where she was a kid, yeah, like it, clearly she was not in control. And I actually don't think it's the last we see of Wanda. No, I think she'll probably some way be back. There's uh, no way she she died from that. No, but you know, how do you redeem Wanda from this? I mean, I know Wanda was bad in, in the comics and like tried to kill the Avengers, but like. You never really. The one thing I hate about the MCU sometimes is like, you never get what you want to see. They go right to it. Mm -hmm. Like, remember how before we got Cap and Iron Man like really teaming up? We get a civil war and they're fighting each other. Mm -hmm. They got like a half of a movie in Age of Ultron where they were okay. Like, you never really got to see Wanda become the Scarlet Witch, a superhero. As soon as she kind of found herself and found her powers, she's evil. And now she's like, you got to have like a redemption arc for her, I guess. Well. At the beginning of Children's Crusade, she is got because it's her first time you see her after House, House of the She has amnesia, and Doctor Strange is taking, or not, and Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom, yeah. They could go that route without being Doctor Doom because they could say that mountain is wherever, and then maybe her kids are trying to find. Because I have a feeling that those two kids that are scared by the Scarlet Witch are now like. Whoa! If she, they've never seen her mother have that kind of power before, yeah. I don't think. Mm -hmm. So now, if they realize that he sh they could have powers and they develop, yeah, that could be where that you get a um, speed and Wiccan situation. Okay, Justin, what did you like best about it? Let you talk since your mic keeps shutting off. Well, Can we on. hear him? Hold on. All right, technical difficulties. <laughs> You know, he is just a big floating giant head, right? Is he with us? He's there. there. Turn it back on again. I see a blue light now. Uh, there you go. All right, talk. Um, mm -hmm. Is this point? Yeah. I... Is it? it? It's... it's. I enjoyed the whole... Like, the whole thing is... A, is, is... As a movie. Like, I I see your point with, with Wanda and the fact that, holy crap, now she's just evil and... Uh, where did that kind of come from? I'll, you know, it kind of seems like it came out of nowhere. Even at the end of um, WandaVision, she was, it seemed like she was on a good path. Mm -hmm. And then, boom, yeah. now all of a sudden she's evil. So, yeah, so that was Yeah, because she kind of little... realized what she was doing in WandaVision was wrong and stopped, uh, what's her name? Um, yeah. Agatha. Agatha. Uh -huh. Stopped Agatha and kind of, like, made everything right. Yeah, but, it, the, but the whole thing was that she got so far down that path, and I think the the point is that she relapsed. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Here, here was a thought I had, is that, you know, in comics, Wonder Gore Mountain is a really cool thing. Mm -hmm. But High Evolutionary, mm -hmm. all those people that he has, mm -hmm. I thought the this furries. was a really piss-poor version of it. It just had mindless ones. It just had, yeah, it had those yeah. mindless one rock robots or whatever, you know, and right. then you had 
That I thought it would have been cool, like when they go to Wonder Gore Mountain, you find out that the High Evolutionary was doing all this. Mm -hmm. That he turned her into Scarlet Witch and he was the real villain. I was waiting for some kind of twist like that. That when they got there, you were going to see him and he was going to be like, I'm doing this to Wanda. I want multiverse control. Mm -hmm. I'm using her. I thought that would have been like a better, like, oh, it's him. Then they had to fight him together. Yeah. Because he's a cool character. But it was just kind of like, well, that's Wonder Gore Mountain. Now it's destroyed. (laughs) And that's the end of that (laughs) shit. You know? Well, but it was only destroyed. Destroyed in this universe. True. Yes. But yes. all the books of Darkhold were destroyed amongst the multiverse. Right. Why didn't Scarlet Witch ever had a third eye? That was a weird thing that only Doctor Strange now has. Yeah, I didn't get the third eye either. Is anybody... Is that, that him was, embracing his dark side? Didn't... That, that came from the... That came from the, the, uh, the what if, but I can't remember what. I think it's, it ties in with him, the dark arts and his... Yeah. You know... Yeah, in the in the animated one, I think he got it from one of the creatures. He after he absorbed one of the creatures. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. I also found it very annoying that out of all the Illuminati, you get to see Black Bolt and all these people. Reed Richards, they all go down like total chumps within a second. But of course, only Captain Carter is able to like get some blows in and be tough. She's the weakest out of Black Bolt and Reed and everyone else, and they get taken out like that. I mean, Black Bolt like standing there, I'm like, scream already! Like, well, that's that's what they announced they could do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And she's like, oh, he can. No, oh, he can. Only <laughs> yeah. talks when now he can't talk anymore, and he blows up his head. Yeah. you know, like like, but like Captain Carter takes her to the. You know, get some Captain shots. Captain Carter got ripped in half. That, yeah. that scene was really well, violent for it him. It was really yeah. violent. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. Of- but but you can tell that they actually Don't. consciously didn't show the dismemberment. Uh, yes. Yeah. You know, when she slides weird uh, her torso. And then, but, did you get the impression that that was supposed? Was that strange from the What If show, or a, I thought it was, that was a different strange. I think it's a different strange. I think so too. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that that's What If strange. I yeah I. See, I actually thought it was. No, because that what if Strange is locked in his own world. Together. Yeah. He completely ruined his whole universe. Yeah. Mm. He had to trap himself in that glass bubble. Oh, that's right. And, and now his, he's in there with his, Ultron. His Christine died. Yeah. Yes. That's what he was trying to do. Mm. Well, this one, I feel like he realized that no Strange was happy, so he started. Ki- he was killing other Stranges. So the whole point is Doctor Strange is <clears throat> destined to go bad no matter what universe he's in. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. This was so different than what I ex- had expected this movie to be. I really thought that there was also going to be, like... You know, we talked so much about this movie for a year. How this could be what brings the X-Men into mm-hmm. the universe. This could be what brings a new Black Panther into the universe. We said that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, this could be all these things that this is going to be. It's going to set up Kang. It's going to set up this. I don't really know what this movie did. <laughs> well, no, it, 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 it's, it's, it, it gave you pretty much... It gave you a lot of that, but it only gave you portions of it. You're looking for the big. You showed they showed you one payoff. part pocket universe that had like cool stuff like the Fantastic Four, right? And things but like the that. point is, now that you know the Fantastic Four is there, now you know the X Men are there, yeah. Now you know the other Captain Marvels there, yeah. I just but they're dead. As, yeah. In that universe, <laughs> I've said this before with more with MCU movies that come out in this in the made slot, like the End Game slot, the the slot. This is the slot, like. What is this? You're it's supposed to. Oh, okay. You're supposed to expand it in the more, and I, I think all they did was just show you. Well, here's it's like a what? It was like an extended what if. Here's some what ifs of some other characters in other universes. But in this world, all you got was Clea at the end. It's like, hey, there's some bad shit going on. We have to do more dimensional hopping. I have a third eye. Like there was no Kang at the end. There was no like. Well, but you also got to remember that we're still we're we're still backed up from COVID, so. And remember the whole reason we're not seeing a lot of love Thor Love and Thunder footage? Maybe that's the one that's actually going to I think that's more on. tied into Moon Knight. Yeah. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. And we also thought that this movie was going to spoil, was going to show some Love and Thunder stuff, that that's why they weren't mm-hmm. showing as much, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know. It just was really different. It feels very it. standalone. Yeah. It, it feels does. very standalone. The only, the only thing I feel that this did was, was to set up Doctor Strange 3. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Which could backdoor into whatever is going to happen with Kang. Like, you know, mm-hmm. if they're going to hop dimensions, they might be able to hop time. I thought well. Clea at the end could at least said Kang. At least open up the portal and said, you have to help me, we have to stop Kang. Who's Kang? Come with me. Like, yeah. I, any of that would have been a little bit better than just like, well, let's go in this blue... I well, open up portal honest, slashes. I don't think they know what it is. <laughs> they can say it's an incursion and be like, yeah, what's well, going to be Kang, but... We don't know what it's going to be. It might it's got to be Kang. 
So what about the the cut? Uh, the cut scene was one with the third eye with Cleo. Well, I don't know how in one second he was in, in pain from it, and literally he's three fine. seconds later he's like, "Let's go fight." Yeah. Wink, <laughs> wink's yeah. his third well, eye. That could have been fine. like weeks later, I yeah. guess. You know, I was thinking about this in the car. Here's what I thought would have been a cool. You know how like we thought about getting other people in the movie so you could see it. Mm-hmm. I thought since Baron Mordu was the only person that survived that Illuminati, yeah. that if they would have done an end scene at the end instead of that stupid shit that they did with the pizza rolls, mm-hmm. that <laughs> you could have had Baron Mordu introducing to his world his new Illuminati. Yeah, with like evil versions of or or like Emily Blunt as Sue Storm. Yeah, um, Wol- to Jackman Wolverine mm-hmm. yeah. or Magneto. Or any of these different people, you know. You're, you're missing. You're missing the biggest potential. What? Get there. Pizza balls. <laughs> yeah, we need them. Yeah. We need them. Stat. Yeah. You know, whatever. There could have been something like that. Or even I thought. Imagine a scene at the end where it's the Wanda who survived, mm-hmm. and there's a knock at her door, and Magneto's at her door, yeah. mm-hmm. and says, "I need to talk to you about the murder of Charles Xavier." Yeah, like that would have been cool. Yeah, you know, instead we got Bruce Campbell with pizza balls, <laughs> which I'm tired of Marvel with the funny endings anymore. Yeah, you wait through the, the whole credits. The, po- the post post credits ones are never. They used anything. to give you something substantial. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you since know? like Endgame, they've just been goofy. Yeah, now they just give you something dumb. Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of it. Something. Dumb. I yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was. Yeah, weird. it would have been nice to see like because that Morty wasn't bad. No, he was a good guy. He was. He sent like Stephen Strange. I think this was the one movie you could have done something extra just for the fans in it. You know, because mm-hmm. it was the multiverse they of madness. Back there again. They went to three dimensions. That was it. They no, crossed they, through a whole they, bunch. They crossed. Then you they have to rewind and pause. There you was know. an animated one. There was a paint one. Yeah. There was the Savage Land. It was clearly the same. But I, I would have liked him at least maybe for cut out some of the talking and stopped in those lands for a few <laughs> minutes to see, you know, like I I think well that's where you saw the Living Tribunal too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, but that's it's at the very beginning of that. Yeah, but I think that's why, you know, I also wouldn't be surprised if now you start getting the the gods realize you know because in, in Infinity Gauntlet when they talk about in the comic book that the Earth has now become too powerful because these they essentially call us like Neanderthals or dealing with these cosmic entities right. that yeah. they don't know how to handle. Now that it, like the Living Tribunal has, you know, he saw see, them. He, he saw them, saw saw them fly them. right by. Yeah, it might you know start you know kind of spurring you know the a cosmic entity, and then you do Galactus with Fantastic Four. Like. I also thought that in the scene when they were in that magic land, wherever they or where the where all the sorcerers are from, and they were waiting for Wanda. Mm-hmm. And they were yeah. gathering all these different like magic people show up. I really thought Shang Chi was going to show up in that. Scene. Well, wasn't that? Well, that's it. Was those his people? Those was those. That was his people. I thought because uh, I was wondering if that was his people. And I since Wong already recruited them, right? I thought that was going to be like I thought yeah. for sure when yeah. they were. And why the f- wouldn't they ask the Avengers for help? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't ask <laughs> uh, Captain well, Marvel. Where the hell is Spider Man? Yeah, I was disappointed there was no Spider Man. I thought that was a there was, was a, a lot of talk out. about him, but I feel like yeah, there was that you would have thought there would have been more people to help because this scene. took place directly after uh, the Spider Man movie. So yeah, I would have liked to see like Rhino or something that you know was there in those clouds pop through or something. Mm-hmm. You know. I, I was expecting so much more. Uh-huh. I think that's why my level of disappointment with it. You know, I even thought, like I said, as a, easing that scene when his people show up. Shang Chi should have been there and been like, "I'm here to help too." You know, mm-hmm. you Wong just recruited me. I'm in. Unless it, all those people were dead and they didn't want to kill him <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But you know, he could have like maybe fought Wanda and got. Mm-hmm. I'm sure what's his nuts, whatever <laughs> plays him, would have took a cameo in that movie for mm-hmm. a few seconds. You yeah. know, I I just felt like there were so many things where I was like. Oh, here we go. Where's Hulk? Like, oh, I, none of that happened. I, oh, here we go. Oh, none of that happened. You know. I feel like Marvel right now isn't tying a lot of their stuff together. Now, I know yeah. we had Spider-Man and Doctor Strange to clean up the Fox or the, yeah. the Sony universe, but I feel like other than that, you're not going to get these crossovers. Everything's very disjointed. Yes. Yeah, because they haven't even announced another Avengers movie. No. Yeah. I don't think you're going to see another one until you see Young Avengers or that Dark Avengers movie. Well, I kind of thought Fantastic Four might fill that void. Maybe you know, but yeah, but they haven't even announced when that's coming out. Well, they lost their director too now, yeah. so who knows when? Bring back was. Ryan Johnson. I would be someone was <laughs> like Sam Raimi should direct Fantastic Four. No, no please don't. <laughs> no, please don't. This <laughs> worked because it's this is kind of a horror movie. It, yeah, it there was. were scary elements yeah. too, yeah. for sure. And really, like, there's a lot of like all the stuff you want to do with witches, and I don't see 
Doctor Strange. I don't see Sam Raimi doing another one because when he yeah. jumps into that cosmic thing, Sam Raimi doesn't fit cosmic no. yeah. and like spiritual. Like yeah. he worked great for this because it was like demons Dark and, and demons, demons and, and more. Like, yeah, it was good for him. Yeah. Like this, this doesn't need to be. He has to get Bruce Campbell in the movie. Uh, yeah. yeah, all the time. He Which loves I Bruce. Enjoyed. Yeah, he loves Bruce Campbell. So the the other thing I just thought about um, was poor. Agatha is getting her own Disney Plus show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there could be some fallout. You know, maybe Wanda shows back up there. Agatha tries to track down. You know, she tries to become the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. I That's what she's trying to do. Anyway. Wants to know why the why all the dark holds went away or something yeah. like that. I guess I I guess I just don't really like that the Scarlet Witch is its own thing instead of like just her Phoenix. code name. Like the Fiend. Instead of yeah. just being her code name, it's like this whole thing. The Scarlet mm-hmm. Witch is a myth. She became that. You know, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, I, it's just not really how I really envision them doing Wanda and all this. Well, you it's know? tough because that if you look at the arc of that character through its origin in just the movies, she was given powers by Hydra. Then it kind of expanded, and then, you know, like, it's kind of morphed into, like, because they don't want to say mutant yet, but she's, they don't really know where she goes. And they could have done that in this movie so easily. Yeah. I really thought the end game of this movie was going to be to put everything where it needs to be for the future. I really thought this movie was going to end, and whatever Wanda merged together, Mm -hmm. that that's why you were going to have... Like mutants X-Men. now and X Men and, and and the Fantastic Four brought over or whatever and Which, I thought it was going to be where it was. What I may say is it might still happen. Mm-hmm. Like they talked about this incursion, so that means the six one six universe is merging with something else and getting too close. Yeah, that he's caused. So maybe that's where the this whole maybe instead of this movie doing it, it's, it's a the setup. Ne- yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's setup. the setup for the genesis of a mutant. Yeah, which. Is annoying because we thought Endgame was going to be that, and then it <laughs> well, wasn't. And then we thought No Way Home was going to be that, and then it wasn't. And now we thought Doctor Strange was that, and it wasn't. So now we're still like three movies in of like, when's it happen? I don't think, <laughs> it, but I also don't think it's one movie. I think to set it up, like I honestly think that Fantastic Four is going to show up in Ant Man because because be. I feel like and that's when they get in the going to be in the quantum world. I think so zone. because he said that Doctor Strange that said to that yeah. that Franklin Richards. I, weren't you guys big in the 60s? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was older. I wouldn't be surprised if they de-aged them and have them show up. That's there. a good point. I forgot he said that. He said, yeah. you, weren't you guys yeah, big in the, the 60s? 60s. Yeah. So he might have been gone since then. Yeah. 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 So if And yeah. I also also wouldn't be surprised is in the comic books, the Council of, Council of Reed Richards was very big. Mm-hmm. So if that Reed realizes that that one's gone and the Doctor Str- Strange from the 616, then he has to go back and... See. I really think that people liked Krasinski as Reed, and if they don't go that route, I think people are going to be disappointed. I, I thought he was... I, li- I really liked He looked it. really good. He did. He sounded really good. Like, everything looked good with that. Like, I, I think if yeah. you cast someone else, people are going to be like, we want we want him yeah. now. Well, and you I know. was really happy... People have wanted him for two years. And he, <laughs> and he proved that. it in there that he looked great as Reed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it wasn't the, the dopey Jim Reed. It was, you know... Mm-hmm. No, he was cool. He was the same. Yeah. Yeah. And he was he sounded intelligent. Mm-hmm. I liked that he started using his powers, but he was trying to talk Wanda down. Yeah, like, the way he like was explaining things, he right. it was very cool yeah. to it's very cool to have another smart guy in it with Tony yes. gone. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know? No, think about this, okay. If if this is the incursion where we bring in mutants, mm-hmm. is this a chance to rewrite Wanda's history to turn her into Magneto's kid? I hope. I mean, they left it open. I really don't like her unless she's Magneto's daughter. I mean, it's called kind of point of the thing is that her dad is this big villain. And right. She was once, and then you know. Mm-hmm. But you open up a lot of weird wormholes with that. Like, there's then there. Where does time work with Magneto and yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff? And where the other thing that I thought was really missing from this movie was Hawkeye. Hawkeye has a relationship with Wanda. I mean, he's really close with her. He was one that the one of the Avengers that she trusted. Mm-hmm. And the end scene of Endgame is the two of them together. Like, I think, I think it would be Pappy for us or my brother. Mm-hmm. And 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 I think if you're Doctor Strange, he was like, "Who are we gonna go get the Mohawk Avenger?" Well, like, you should have went and got him. You might have been able to talk to Wanda. Was there ever a time where Doctor Strange and Hawkeye on film? Now they, they could say, you know, outside of film, we could write a story about it. But met met or was like. On the same team for any amount of time. They were at Tony's funeral together. Okay. Yeah. So he might not know all that. Well, I mean, he you know he knew of who he was, but yeah. like, yeah, maybe he didn't know the relationship. relationship. Yeah. But 
I don't is, know. I think that would have been cool to bring well, Hawkeye in at some point and try to talk Wanda down or something because he's close to her. Yeah, you know, or well, who knows that? Because they were both very secretive characters. Yeah, but and they to could've. me, he a couple times during the movie he alluded to being an Avenger. Yeah, because he he makes the comment to Wanda, "We'll get you back on the lunchbox." Like, yeah. you know, you we'll get you back into the group and. In, insinuating to me that you know he's an Avenger, so yeah, he should know Hawkeye. I would think. Well, also, if we look at the timeline of Hawkeye after Endgame, he is gone. Like yeah, he's he with his family. Out. So whatever Strange would kind of hopped in to be in the, a main part of the Avengers, Hawkeye's already stepped away from it. It. I, I think the thing that's. This but I also think that there's arrogance on Wanda and Doctor Strange at parts of this movie that blinds them from common sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is one of the hallmarks of Strange. It's yes. just if you go back and watch Endgame, that scene between Hawkeye and Wanda is totally ruined now. Like it's a great scene when it ends, where like he's like, "I'm proud of you." Quicksilver would be proud of you, and it's like a good scene where like you know what holds the future? I don't know. And then well, uh, what holds the future of that is she goes fucking nuts and like you know, tries to kill everybody in a town. Like I-, I felt like her downfall just because of Vision's death. Like I don't like the way they've done her at all. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, yeah, and really, and White Vision could have been in this movie too. Which I I think you're not going to see him again until he uh, shows up on the Dark Avengers team mm. but do, do you think um you know maybe in dr strange 3 or at the end of dr strange 3 he assembles a new illuminati in the 616 universe maybe. i wouldn't be surprised i actually thought they were going to start he's he's was going to start doing that here mm-hmm. because when they, they talked a lot about he doesn't need to be the one that holds the scalpel i thought he was like well i need to make a safeguard for me yeah well that could happen for yeah. the other which could be a way to, you know, kind of bring this team together, you know, but... Yeah, disappointed no Iron Man in, in the Illuminati, though, for sure. Iron Man is Illuminati. I get that. Well, you know what it was? is all The Ultron bots that look so much like the Tony Ultron bots from that... From really made everybody yeah. think that they were going to be yeah. there. That was like a tease that they, yeah. they, they did. And like whoever said it before, you could easily had the helmet on the entire time and yep. just had a voice. You know what I mean? And then they explode it and there's no one in there and been like, he's yeah. not even really in there. Mm-hmm. I just felt like he was missing. I felt like that would have been all his tech. Yeah. All those all Trump bot. Did it even have seven members or was it six? Um, isn't that the gimmick? It had to have a majority? Yeah, it always had to be an odd. So no. let's let's go through. It was Black Bolt, Captain Carter, Professor Mordu. X, Mordu. Reed. Reed. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain Carter. You already said her. I did. So it's six. It was six, yeah. So they can never get a majority. Yeah, maybe there was a member that wasn't there. I don't know. Maybe. It was cool that they played the X-Men animated thing (laughs) when Xavier rolled out in his yellow chair. Which, at first, I was wondering, like, because you kind of thought that this was the multiversal Illuminati. That's what I thought. And it wasn't. And it wasn't. Yeah, which I would have liked that better if it was. Yeah. If they were safeguarding everything. And that way he could have been from the animated universe. Yes. And, mm-hmm. and then the Captain Carter Captain Carter made sense. But, like, that. so there's multiple Captain Carters. Yeah. Yeah. Not it's, the one that jumped into the portal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we kind of beat this one up for a half hour here. We got other things to move on to. So I guess we can rate it and move on. We'll start with Justin. Seven and a half. Lance? Uh, seven. Rock? Six and a half. Ten? I'm going to get beat up on this one. Go to nine. <laughs> I liked it that much. Wow. <laughs> I am it's higher than your end game <laughs> score. <laughs> it is. I like you Doctor like this Str- movie. You like this movie better than Endgame. I like Doctor Strange a lot, and I like weird shit like this with Sam Raimi. I I will watch this again. Wow, I give it a five. I think it's a very middle movie, and uh, this isn't for everyone. I doubt this is going to get a lot of money. I feel like this is going to be a thing. Where, to have a budget too. Oh, I know it's a huge <laughs> ass budget. Yeah, it's definitely the most different of MCU movies I've seen. I think that people who screen these movies before taking their kids are not going to take their kids to see this movie. Oh no. yeah, like if I mm-hmm. I would have brought yeah. yeah yeah yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, like I'm not going to like my wife didn't go. I'm not going to bring it. She'll mm-hmm. just watch on Disney Plus at some point. Mindy, I hated this I movie. don't want to see it again, like in yeah. theaters. You know, yeah. this is the first one of those in a while, like the big movies that I'm like, 
Like, I can't wait to go again over the weekend. Take another family member. Like, I, I don't want to go. Well, well, did you, you go away for Eternals? I didn't even see Eternals. And Eternals came out in November. That oh, wasn't, okay. like, one of the, the big yeah. ones. But I like Eternals. I like Eternals better than this. Well, I mean, this movie visually was very overstimulating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean, the beginning scenes were that weird spaghetti monster thing. Right. Yeah. Like <laughs> the, the monster that she sent at her when you really didn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I sent Shima Gorath after you for really how, no reason. How badass was she? She did look cool. Yeah. He was really cool looking. I never thought I'd see. Like, I've always liked him. I, I just, you know, he looked neat. Yeah. He did him. Especially when he lost his eyeball. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. All right, that's it. Ken, take us out. All right, well, please like, share, subscribe, like, tell your friends, and have a great week.